So class, we are going to discuss about the graph of temperature at gas distance for heat conduction through first, insulated rod, second, non-insulated rod, number three, the combinations of two insulated rod in series, fourth, combinations of two non-insulated rod in series. So first, we consider the heat conductions along a well-insulated rod. So for a well insulated rod, for a well insulated rod, there will be no heat loss through the side surface of the rod because the rod is covered with insulator. So we cover the rod along the rod with insulator. So the heat will not be flow, uh, not able to escape from the rod. Okay. So all the heat will a, will flow from the hot end of the A to the cold end of B. So we will find that all the heat will be transferred from the hot end. Hot end means the high temperature to the low temperature. Okay. So temperature will vary linearly with distance along the rod. The decreasing of temperature is uniform. So when the decreasing of temperature along the rod is uniform, then we are going to get a straight line when we plot the graph temperature a gas distance so it's a straight line so for a well insulated rod the temperature gradient the temperature gradient will be uniform uh, for the temperature a gas distance graph we are going to get a straight line okay then second one the heat conduction along a non insulated rod what about a rod that we, we didn't cover with any insulator we didn't cover the rod with any insulator so the heat will be able to loss to the surrounding from the side of the rod so as the heat transferred from the hot end towards the cold end some of the heat able to escape it able to escape from the side of the rod okay so temperature distance graph will be a curve the decreasing of temperature is not uniform so along the distance along the distance x the decreasing of temperature will not be uniform why because some of the heat is being escaped to the surrounding okay not all the heat is being transferred towards the point left uh, sorry uh, not all the heat being transferred from the hot end towards the cold end some is already lost to the surrounding so we will get a curve whereby the loss of heat at point a is much more greater than loss of heat at point b so for a non-insulated rod we will get a curved line what about the heat conduction along an insulated combination rod in series so if we still have well insulated rod but it's the combination of two different material so since the rod are insulated there will be no heat loss to surrounding so the temperature will vary linearly with distance so we understood we are going to have a straight line graph we are going to have a straight line graph because the rod is insulated well insulated so the heat cannot uh, loss to the surrounding anyhow it shouldn't be a straight line machine it shouldn't be a straight line machine because the value of thermal conductivity k are different okay so the temperature gradient will be different for both rod the temperature gradient that we draw the straight line that we draw the gradient will be different uh, for the two rod how you know the temperature gradient or the gradient of the straight line we draw is different we can refer to the equation we have rate of heat flow is negative k a dt over x so we rearrange k will be negative rate of heat flow divided by area divided by the temperature gradient so you can see obviously your time your thermal conductivity is inversely proportional to the temperature gradient so when your temperature when your thermal conductivity is small then your temperature gradient will be large okay it's inversely proportional so if our thermal conductivity for the first material is greater than thermal conductivity for the second material then we will find out that the temperature gradient the gradient for the first material will be less than the temperature gradient for the second material so 
the slope, the gradient for the first material will be the less compared to the gradient of the second material because the temperature gradient, gradient of the second line will be steeper. Nilai dia lebih besar. So, dia lebih curang. Steeper. Ah, steeper. Okay. If our K thermal conductivity for first material is less than thermal conductivity for the second material, then we will find out that the temperature gradient for the first material will be greater than temperature gradient for the second, second, second material. So, we are going to have this type of straight line. So, the gradient for the first material will be steeper compared to the second one. So, remember, smaller value of K, you will get steeper temperature gradient. Greater value of K, you will get a more gently slope. Okay? More gently slope temperature gradient. Then, for heat conduction along a non-insulated combination of rod in series, if we still have combination of rod but then it's non-insulated so we understood for non-insulated rod they are going to have heat loss to the surrounding so the temperature decreasing will be decreases non-uniformly with distance so we are going to get a curve line so you should get a curve line you shouldn't draw a straight line because it's non-insulated it's non-insulated Anyhow, because the value of K are different, thus the curve that we draw shouldn't be the same. Lah. So the curve are different for both rod. Lah. So we are going to draw two different curves. First curve for the material 1 with thermal conductivity K1. Second curve for the material 2 with thermal conductivity K2. Okay. So basically, this is the four graph that we have. Uh, for the heat conductions so what you need to remember is if you have an insulated rod then you will get a straight line graph if you have a non-insulated rod then you will get a curve because the heat is lost to the surrounding okay that's all about the temperature against distance graph for heat conductions